James Bond is well known for liking his <laughs> martinis, shaken, not stirred, but of course that's all had to go because he can't be allowed to have a drink. So a new TV advert released ahead of the new film No Time to Die has caused controversy as 007, who we saw in a papoose and uh, no longer with any Bond girls, has now had to go teetotal. Can I just point out, it was Daniel Craig with the papoose, not he's, James he Bond. He is James Bond. Yes. But, you know, he's an actor. He's been emasculated. He's not always Bond. <laughs> he has. On he's and a, off screen, he's, he's been emasculated. A, he's a, what, being <laughs> a dad? James Bond never wearing a pad. nothing <laughs> emasculating about being a dad. So, he's a teetotal Bond, just what the world needs. Or should Britain's favourite spy stay exactly how he is? Here's the advert. Well, joining us now is actor Tam Hassan, who says that James Bond should keep his martinis, and film critic Paul Ross, who thinks we should stop glamorising alcohol. <laughs> yes, you heard that right, from Paul Ross. <laughs> uh, exactly. Okay. Have you stopped glamorising <laughs> alcohol? Absolutely not. I'm a terrible booze hound <laughs> and a meat eater. But I think the days are gone. I mean, now we sell cocktails in tin cans in supermarkets. There's no glamour in booze anymore, and we, it wouldn't be a licence to thrill or kill it, be a licence to droop. Why do we he have to... He can't drive a car and he can't go with the women. Why no, do we have can to... Can I just say welcome why... to Ray's Bar, by the way? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Why do we have to cut James Bond's balls off? Well, I think he's... Literally. literally he's, an cut him off. he's an aspirational Why figure. Why have we had to neuter him? And now everybody can drink cocktails. Everybody goes to those glamorous locations. What makes him different is he's what we want to be. He should be ordering, I think, Chilean elderberry juice with carrots thrown in oh, Tasmania. Oh, shut up! Yes! Yeah, oh, that sounds lovely. No, no, go on. Listen, not in a million years, all right? Bond is Bond. You want to hear him say that iconic line, don't you? Shake and hot stuff. Yeah. Right? Well, he can no, say that about you his elderflower. You don't want to hear him just chill it, don't spill it, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to see James Bond running around with a bottle of beer in your hand, do you? You know what it comes down to? It comes down to this whole war, as I see it, on masculinity. <laughs> that anything that's too masculine involving a man who likes a drink or a cigar or to chasing women or whatever. This is suddenly now all down. terrible. No, no. But we've seen him move on. I mean, people don't smoke as much on screen anymore. The bad guys smoke. Bond in the novel smokes all the time. But so we've cool moved on in that way. in the day when you used to see him having a snack? Yeah, but you didn't see the watery eyes, eyes and the fact Even the women used to smoke. But yeah. movies shouldn't <laughs> be... We're not being movies... honest about his hangovers, either. Yeah. Because presumably they're be real... hellish. They shouldn't be real-life movies. They're escapism. That's right, it's entertainment. It's escapism. That's exactly what it is. James Bond is supposed to be escapist fantasy. And that's escape from my life, cos I do like a drink, if I saw a teetotal Bond kicking butt, that'd be fantastic. Oh, you you don't even all. mean this, Paul Ross. <laughs> well, it, but he doesn't get drunk, does he? You don't no, see him falling that's all over the place. Hang, that's on, hang on, because researchers, public health researchers at the University of Otago in New Zealand analysed 24 Bond films and concluded that he has a chronic alcohol problem. What is that wow. chronic alcohol problem? There is strong and consistent evidence that James Bond has this problem at the severe end of the spectrum. How many does he have in the film? He sips a drink 109 times, yeah. or an average of four and a half times and in it's each a film. film. Sorry, sorry. And by the way, thinking? what time scale are most Bond movies? from start to finish in terms of actual time. A few weeks, months, sometimes okay. years, right? <laughs> so he's having four and a half drinks in four years in some of those movies. Well, One so. a year. Now, by Paul Ross drinking standards, <laughs> trust me, and this guy's already <laughs> teetotal. And, and let's be fair, and Piers Morgan as well. <laughs> yes. The difference is... No, Piers, when I was told, I was debating with you on this, and I'm like, are you joking? I know, it's what I thought. <laughs> so by the same token, though, if come you over. and I had cut out the meat and the boot, oh, we may be considered for James Bond. Come on. Oh, I still yeah. might be. I'll tell you what we're going to give him. We're going to give him... A vegan martini. Yeah. But that, okay. that'll be the way well, it goes. If a there vegan is martini. The next thing, he'll one, be yeah. having a vegan sausage <laughs> roll, and then there's no way back for Bond. But most lager is vegan. It's only beer that uses that weird fish scale you think to get the sediment out. Oh, so yeah. we're living it already. You yeah. know what? We're living in a world where everyone is such a <laughs> shameless virtue signaler, wanting to make people think they're better than they are. We're going nuts. We're giving up all the but things that, that are funny in life. That, isn't that the fantasy exactly. to have that clean living Bond lifestyle? Bond was the last bastion left <laughs> of good old-fashioned male, Correct. chivalrous, Don't tough guy it. masculinity. Can I point out, this so is of an course advert. he's had to be new. This is an advert. This isn't a trailer. And he's for not no saying time he's to die. He's one of the official we, sponsors we, for we, the movie. Yes, but yep. we don't know if 007 sits down at the bar and says, "I'll have a no alcohol beer." Thanks very much indeed. We want our men to be men, don't we? We want our men to be men. That's right. Listen. And by the way, men that women love. Women love James Bond for all the reasons we're now trying to new to him. No, but, they, but, they, but they wake up beside Ollie Reed and Keith Moon. That's the problem, <laughs> isn't it? You know? No, they don't. <laughs> uh, listen, listen, we're, all for no, we're not trying to emasculate James Bond. I think Heineken are just trying to make 0% beer manly. There is, That's it, what they're doing in the It's not 0% beer. It'll have alcohol in it. Well, it's all non-alcoholic beer. Zero, zero. Has, Have you tasted non-alcoholic lager? 
I just don't think there's any point she in having drink. something that's oh, non alcoholic. She's, not, she's now gone Listen, the other side. If I'm it's trying to be a bit. Listen, we I'm used a... to go trawling gay bars in Soho at 4 a.m. I'll still I've do been, that with you. After eight hour benders. Now she tonight. wants to do it after having a nice kale <laughs> salad and some of her little <laughs> you know, alcohol free you, lager. Does a no woman want, want James Bond to be that way? So do you not want him to be masculine? I think, there are, times she, one, I think there are times when you want your men to be sober. But he's not 100%. If he told me once, her ideal man was six foot two, ex military. And tattoo. Yeah, but I'm not trust me. I'm your man. Trust me. Not she wants. She wants James Bond. <laughs> not I'm incapacitated.